session.gcmaxlifetime. Just add another zero here. Safe mode. It's already up, so all's good. Enable underscore DL. We'll set this to on. And that's it. I'll click save and close, and we're done here. Now let's go to the Apache web server settings. If you have a recent version of Webmin, you may not see it by default, even if it's already installed on the server. To make it appear, I'll click on Refresh Modules on the bottom of the screen. This will make Webmin look for installed software on the server. Once I finish, when I go back to servers, I can now get to the Apache web server. I'm just going to click on Apply Changes to load the changes I just made in php.ini into the server. Now it's time to install PHP Motion. I'm going to go to Others and click on Upload and Download and copy the URL of the PHP Motion package here. You can find the latest version of the package at their official website at phpmotion.com. I'm going to download it into my home directory and give myself ownership of the downloaded file. Frankly, it doesn't make such a much of a difference since I'm doing everything through Webmin, but it's a good habit to get into not to leave everything owned by root. Now Webmin will fetch the URL directly onto the server. Now I'm going to go back to the file manager. I'm going to browse to where I just downloaded the file. And click extract to unzip the file. This will bring up a small dialog. Before I unzip the file for real, I'm going to click on Show Contents to verify the zip file and ensure that the contents will install into a subdirectory and not the current directory. As you can see, everything looks fine and it will unzip into the subdirectory PHP5. Now I'm going to do this again, but actually extract the files this time. By the way, if you're having trouble with the extract dialog, you might want to go to the software packages screen and install the unzip package from your package manager. Let's go to the new PHP 5 directory. As you can see, everything here is in the PHP motion directory. The install instructions say to copy this whole folder, so I'm going to cut it here and paste it into slash var. Now, I'm going to rename the existing www directory to www.old and rename the PHP motion directory to www, effectively overriding the old Apache website route. Note that I could also have created a new Apache virtual host, which I explain how to do in the dedicated server handbook in Chapter 5. This would enable me to install PHP Motion alongside other websites installed on the same web server and not use the entire web server just for PHP Motion. Now, I'm going to change permission on the directories as instructed in the installation instructions. To do that, I'll select the Classes directory,
and click on the info button. In the dialog that opens, I'm going to add write and uh, group write and other write permissions. Note now that the octal code is 777 as instructed. Now I'm going to do the same for the add-ons directory. For the logs directory. For the pictures directory. The setup directory. Inside the uploads directory, all four subdirectories, inside the audio directory, again for the temp directory, Now I'll do the uploads directory itself. Finally, the temp directory. Now to set up the CGIs, I'm going to go to the CGI bin directory and add the execute bit to all of the files. I need to add it to Owner, Group, and Other. Now again inside the audio folder, just the .pm and .pl files. Now we've finished prepping the prerequisite packages, the PHP config, and the files. All that's left before the web setup is to prepare the MySQL configuration. I explain how to do this with the PHP MyAdmin package in the dedicated server handbook in Chapter 6, but for now we'll do it with, with Webmin's built-in MySQL configuration tool. Let's go to Servers, MySQL Database Server. I'm going to create a new database and name it PHP Motion. We don't need the initial table since the installer will do that for us, so just click Create. Now, I'm going to click User Permissions and create a new user. I'll name the user PHPMotion and set the password to the same and the host to localhost. Finally, I'll click Create. Now I'm going to go back to the main menu for MySQL and click on Database Permissions. I'm going to create a new database permission and select the PHP Motion schema and assign the PHP Motion user on localhost with all of the permissions. That's it. We're ready for the web based setup. I've set up my web server to listen at www.mybrandnewdomain.com, so we'll go to www.mybrandnewdomain.com.